Hey there, this is Jonathan and today we're gonna talk about the attack mechanics of my new game, Super Cat Tails Paws. The first Super Cat Tails game I worked on didn't implement any attack mechanics. In fact, the main cat characters had to avoid enemies at all costs. Even the boss fights were designed in a way that the cat had to run away from the bosses and attack them indirectly, by shaking the screen or switching a lever. Super Cat Tails 2, on the other hand, introduced a new cat called Mac Meow that was able to attack enemies by running into them, a bit like the dash attack in Wario games. This new attack mechanic worked very well, to the point I had to come up with some downsides for Mac Meow, otherwise it would have been way too overpowered compared to the other cats. Some of these downsides consisted in making Mac Meow a bit slower and coming up with spiked enemies that would cause a damage when attacked. Bruh. Many players seemed to enjoy this new attack ability of Mac Meow, so I kept it in the game by assigning the same ability to another cat named Olly. The introduction of spiked enemies was also a perfect way to counterbalance this new ability, otherwise the game would have been as easy as drinking a cup of tea. Talking about a cup of tea, I've recently launched some new awesome Super Cat Tails mugs. Yep, this video is sponsored by my own merch. If you'd like to support the development of Super Cat Tails, you can head over to my merch store and check out the new mugs or the awesome t-shirts that are just perfect for the summer. And if you cannot afford to buy a mug or a t-shirt, that's perfectly fine. You can always support the development of Super Cat Tails by playing my games. You can find them over at Neutronize.com. They're all quality pixel art games available to both Android and iOS, so please feel free to check them out. You'll find the links in the description down below. Ok, let's now move forward to Super Cat Tails Paws, the latest game in development. As many of you noticed from the game trailer, all the cats seem to be able to attack enemies. This is absolutely correct. I can confirm that all cats in Super Cat Tails Paws are able to attack enemies by running into them, like Mac Meow and Oli used to do in Super Cat Tails 2. This choice makes sense for a series of reasons. First of all, the attack mechanic was fun, so I wanted to extend it to all cats, opening up to more interesting mechanics. Second, with all the cats being able to attack, it's now much easier for me to design the game. This time, for example, all boss fights can be based on direct attacks from the cats and I don't risk ending up with cats that are too much overpowered compared to the others. Having the attack mechanic extended to all cats made me realize it was also time to improve other aspects of the game. And by this I mean making the attack collisions more accurate. You see, game sprites have something called hitbox. A hitbox is basically a rectangle used for collision detection. If two rectangles overlap each other, I can detect the collision and trigger certain events like a coin being collected or the cat being hit by an enemy. 
In Super Cat Tales 2, some spiked enemies had a hitbox that matched the whole sprite area, meaning that no matter which part of the sprite Mac Meow collided with, the enemy was always able to inflict a damage to Mac Meow. As I was developing Super Cattails Pause, I thought it was about time to optimize this aspect by creating a new hitbox just for the enemy's spikes. This means that certain enemies now have up to two different hitboxes, one for the body and one for the spikes, which is the area that the cat cannot attack. The enemies without spikes, on the other hand, just have one hitbox for their body. This means that when the cat hits them, the game code will check if the cat is attacking or not. If the cat is not attacking, both the enemy and the cat will be damaged. If the cat is attacking, the enemy will be the only one being damaged. Enemies with spikes, on the other hand, have got a different routine. As I mentioned earlier, they've got a second hitbox just dedicated to the spikes. This means that if the cat hits them, the code will now check which hitbox is being hit. If it's the body hitbox, the routine is the same of normal enemies, but if there's a collision with the spikes, it'll always damage the cat, no matter if the cat is attacking or not. This new system is way better and way more precise, even allowing the player to attack enemies with spikes just by hitting them in spots outside the spikes hitbox. So I hope you guys like this new improved attack mechanic, I can assure you that playing Super Cat Tails Paws is so much fun and having all the cats being able to attack is way better and allows me to design better levels and enemies. If you'd like to provide some feedback or ideas, please feel free to join the Super Cat Tails Discord group. I'm online most of the time and always happy to chat with you guys. You can find the link to the Discord group in the description down below. Well, this is all for today. Thanks so much for watching and see you guys soon.